Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Cook. So, we will be continuing our journey in using the GUI. In this video, we are going to see how you can create archives or the so called zip files. So, let's get started. So, first of all, we need to find out which utility is there with which we can create the archive. So, we will follow our standard rule and we will look for the term archive. So, if you remember, we'll go to start and we'll directly search from the search bar and we'll search for ARC. So, as soon as I type archive, the archive manager shows up over here. So, still, if you want to know where it is located, it is located in the accessories section and this is your archive manager. So, the archive manager will allow you to create archives and compressed archives. So, we will not go into the details of archives and compressed archives. We will just limit ourselves to creating a zip file for the time being. So, let us see how we can create an archive or let us say we want to create a zip file, how we can do it simply to this archive manager interface. So, first of all, we go here and we simply say a new archive. So, it's going to ask me the name of the archive which I want to create. So, let us say we'll call it my, my backup. And then from here, you can select the extension or not the extension, rather the type of compression or archiving you want to use. So here it is showing you a lot of different type of archives or compressions that you can get. Zip is what you might be used to. So you can create a zip. If you're going to share your file with other Linux users and uh, Linux or Unix type of users, they would always prefer to get a tar or a compressed tar with gzip compression or bzip compression. So, you should either use this or you should use the tar.gz. For the timing, we will stick to zip and I say create. Okay, before we proceed to create, let us see what is there in this other options. So, here there is an option to password protect my zip. Let's try it out. I'll just give it a password 12345 and uh, let's say create. So, it has created the zip but there are no files into this. So, nothing is zipped till now. Interesting. So, how do we add files to this zip? Go to this plus symbol and then you can go to any of the locations from where you want to select the files. So, it is just like a file manager interface. So, I will just go to let's say documents, office work and then I am just going to select certain files from here. I'm just going to select them randomly. And that's it. If you are interested, you can move around and select more files. You can select a complete directory or folder, so to say. The whole thing can be archived. And we will say add. So, that's it. Your archive is ready. Fine. You just say quit. And your archive is ready. So, where did it get created? Let's check it out. It got created over here. My backup dot zip. So, it contains all the files. Let us recheck. We will just double click on it. Again, it opens with the archiver and you can see your files over here. Now, you can extract the archive and it will ask you where you want to extract. 
So let us say I want to extract it into a newer location. So I can create a new folder. Let's say temp. And here I will ask it to extract this archive. Okay, now it's asking me for the password. So what was the password? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it has been extracted. Show the files or you can close it. Let's close it. By the way, that's a real bad password. Please don't use such passwords. This is just for demo purpose. So let's go to temp and see all our archives are uh, the files have been extracted. Fairly simple. Let us see another way of creating these zip files. Rather this is applicable if you want to <coughs> simply archive a folder or some one or two files from a specific location only. So let's just try to go to temp and let us say I want to archive these four files. So just hold control and left click on the files and these are selected. Okay. Then right click on this and you can say create archive. Okay. It will ask you for the name. So temp, zip and other options. So in fact this is actually the direct part of the archive, uh, archiving tool which we had seen and this is a faster way to create the archive. So I'll just say create and you can see the temp.zip is created. So if you want to create your archive real fast then you can use this simple mechanism. And if you want to extract your archive real fast, copy it to the location where you want it, right click on it and simply say extract here, extract to, extract here, extracts the contents in the same location, extract to will ask you where you want to extract it. Fine. So again, we get the same uh, location and uh, let's just say I'll extract it to this templates for the time being and I'll say extract. So it is extracted. And so do templates. So my files are extracted. Simple. Okay. So that is how you can create your archives. You can manage the zip files and others. So it is fairly simple. No need of command line. Nothing. Who says Linux is difficult. So go ahead. Try it out. And enjoy Linux. We'll meet in the next video.